Hey everyone, OJ's back. I hope you enjoyed the part of the Western Conference Finals of the NBA 2K23, but now this is where we finish off from here in Game 6. It's a win or go home for Seattle Kraken, the wild card team, or having a little difficulty to try to get in the game. But they have been always in a great run in the first and second round of the game. But now, this is where it comes down to this. If they lose and Colorado wins, they're going back to the NHL Stanley Cup Finals to face against the, the number of opponent team. Not the same team you're looking for the last season, but this different team. Boston Bruins. They will be playing here for the Stanley Cup Finals on, on NHL of EA Sports. Now for the last matchup, and it will be done. Now it's time to send you down to Climate Pledge Arena one last time before the end of their run of the Conference Finals. Guys, it will be all yours. As I stand by, we have a speed phone along with Test 2. And the center ice will be another good call. Life Brain. See you all later, folks. It's Game 6. Hello, everyone. I'm Me Phone 4, along with Fan and Life Brain. And this is the Stanley Cup Finals of the Conference Finals of the Western Conference. The matchup is being set, and we're here ready to take on at Climate Pledge Arena. The courtesy line of being here as followed. We have this Jared McCann. Across from here, we have this Jack Eberle. From the other side of the routine, we have this Nathan McKinnon. Then we have this Kale McCall. From the other angle, we have his toes. Then it's the two skin right toward the center. And finally, we have his Ryan today. The starting goaltender will be Alexander Georgiev for the Avalanche. On the other players, we have his Larson. Then across from here, we have a crop, another player that we are all going for is Beniers. And on the other side, we have his Martin Jones. Now, Martin Jones, I was saying it before because he was really that good. What a tip back in! A starting first goal for the Colorado Avalanche! It's the one nothing lead for Kill McCarr. Kill McCarr had that one with the angle to make that shot. That was the biggest part of it, and I've never seen how it was going to come out. Because at that point, Kill McCarr got a great opportunity range to take the goal right around Martin Jones. He got a very good one. He's taking piece of it and crack out of it. Turned out great. Here's Beniers. Back again is Larson. Now Beniers over the other side. Toes back to McCarr. Here's McKinnon right toward the right left wing of the center. Going right around the corner, McKinnon right the ankle break in. And it's denied by Martin Jones. Seattle will take their possession here on the other side of the rink. And here's the Chushkin's pass broke it up. Nido. And Schwartz got the puck back. Neider recovers it. Going back the other way in for the run. Good takedown for the Kraken. Rebound! Scores! That's Brayton in. Making it snappy. And they have gotten a good goal. First, McCarr. Then it's Brayton in. Now I know Brayton in has gotten a great use of it. The heat seeker really turns it out to make it snappy. When he has that right in the mountain, he got a great look of his skills. I know he was turning out that good, but don't be mindful of that. They're really turning out to be one of a kind. They're doing a lot much harder than they've done. Here for Seattle Kraken. Here's a shot, and it's stopped by Julia. Nido with the puck. Rolls around again, finds Ranton and shot, and we're holding up by Jones. Jones got to get a good hand of hold of this one, because he really knows he couldn't get a lot of saves back again. Pretty early period. He might need to take the crap out of it and then go right from here. Still on a good run here for the Colorado Avalanche. So you have a start with a 2 upping lead. Then stay tuned. We've got the finals of the NBA 2K23 as the Nuggets take on against the Celtics. That'll be the first game. That'll be happening here on June 10th. So that will be the start for the first of the kind to get it in the books. And that will be right in the way here on Son of Beast. Plus, we can't forget about, about Son of Beast's birthday. It's getting it close. Yeah, I don't know what to say. But, well, if he comes in the game, maybe he's for NBA. I think he might be going in there. Oh, well, we got to invite him. And for everyone else there, too. Yeah, pretty sure enough, too. I think everybody will be joining. 
<laughs> well, guess you might have to call that one here. Give it a ride. Stop it, Georgia. The Avs have their puck now as Logan O'Connor right back to the tour to slot. Pass to Cogliano. Cogliano passes over to O'Connor. O'Connor move around to Eller. That blocked it up. Osayek with the puck now goes over to Tobinen. Tobinen right toward the right wing. Sliding it down. Finds Cord with the rebound. He scores. There's your goal for the Kraken. As Donato has an answer back. They're on the board. 2-1. With that energy of the play, that Gord gave it off right quickly to Donato. He really got a great eye on it. And thanks to him, with that pass, it's a tough one to try to keep it going right from here for the targets. Not really tough enough that everyone keeps an eye on that. The target slots are very that tough. But it's a great range to keep it eyes on here. As to Donato, he got a great goal out of it. On the other side now, uh, it's stopped again by the goaltender. Larson getting it bumbled up. Seattle will have the puck here in possession. On his way down to the right wing. Rodriguez back to Newbook, back to McCarr. Now moves over to Rodriguez. He fires it out. The Kraken regain the group as now they will have their turn to make the pass come better. Gordy right toward the slot to Borshawn. Fires away. That's stopped by Rodriguez. Maljin up again to chop the puck over to Toes. New hook right into the left wing. Cuts from the corner. Passes back to Hunt. Now moves to Rodriguez. Wimberg taking the puck over as the Kraken will have their possession. Up along the wing. Schwartz. Put the sword at an angle. Pass the nine by Georgiev. And it goes right toward the wall. Back to Toes. Now, he can't just really take over with the shots. He's been very good out there. Trying to keep that one up there. But it's not very really that easy to try to go with the open look of the offense. You better have to like try to like keep it at your own target. Because it's really not helpful to try to stay in bound. Wemberg passes to Schwartz. McKinnon's got the puck and now Natrushkin will have their, have their time. Now back again to the Seattle Kraken on the McCann. Back to Wemberg. To Schultz, to McCann. McCann, back to Everly. Goes down! Johnson, with the puck now, racing it over toward the other side of the slot. To Dachushkin. Dachushkin on his way, fires around the net. Up to the glass, and now Schultz will have it to Beneers. Beneers moving to run, in the middle, and Jurian will have it cleared out with a stop. That will hold up under a mid-period to go in the first. 2-1 is the score. Both players are ready to take their possession here for the face-off. Now Everly wins the face-off. Osayek with the rebound. Move around on that. He scores! And we are tied for the start of the first period. Between the inbounding, Osaya fed that one right away. He moves around there very quickly to go right from right to left. He was way enough and then tried to like get right into the puck in his own. He got a great angle of it and he went really that tough. Keeping an eye on the man and then go right around with an open look. He got a great easy feed. He was wide open from that corner of the range. But because the goalie was up in front, he didn't really didn't get there in timing. He got a great goal and out of time. The Avs will take their way down to the Kraken territory. Nido lost the puck. Borgia recovers it. On his run. Chops it around the net. By Ram up in the corner of his slot. He moves it quickly over again. Comfer lost the puck. Sponge gives it over to Geeky. Geeky right towards it. And a one-timer. Stopped by Jorgia with a save. 8 one to go in the first period as Jürgen would like to hang on from here to get ready for the faceoff. Officials are getting set here to drop the puck on ice. They're about to do it again. The new episode of the Inanimate Sanity Invitational will be underway shortly. 
for next week. So if you're ready for that one, well, I don't know if you are, but if it already passed and it's out, well, you may never know what to guess it. And I expect you all should watch it anytime right now for episode 14 of the Anime Insanity Invitational. And that will be the last one for 2022-23. And the summer break is getting up close. We will definitely can't forget the graduates of the class of 2023. Congratulations! And we can't wait to see how your next one comes to life for your future and the world. Pagliano missed Fire League right toward the slot. Deneuve gives it back to Sousey. Now he goes it over. Takes it around the net. McCarr has the puck in bounding. Now back to Toes. He gives it over to Eller. Eller on the way. Samuel down right by the blue line. These guys are very not tough. They never really saw what's going to happen like that. And they're never really going to bother us. They really are trying to like keep him out of here. Connor pass to Cogliano. Pass back. Sprint for the takeaway. Now he's on his way. Down to the right. Pass to Cordy. Shoots. Save me by Jurgen. 5.51 to go in the first period of the game. It's tied up now. Keep it right in here because you'll never know what to get. Kill McCarr has a one eerie edges of the settling. He makes it around a great mover in between of them. He got a great angle of the stick and then keep it right in the slot. There are no current status here for Ben Stein, but however, he might be getting a lot of defensive and then try to look for the superstar X Factor player to get right into work. I'll be watching the two players in between of Kill McCarr and Ben Stein. Back to you guys. In a neutral faceoff zone, now in the offense wing. Johnson's got the puck here right across. Now Hunt will take it over. Back to Lekernan. Lekernan moving around the puck. Kicks the puck over right to McKinnon. McKinnon right toward the offense zone. Now Hunt. On her way down into Kraken territory. McCarr lost the puck. Gore takes it away. Donato right towards the left wing. Up along the side, and it's right now to Chushkin. But the Donato recovers the puck. Lekernan keeps the puck alive, and now it's McKinnon. Gets crushed up. Larson gives it back over to Borshad. Seattle into the attacking zone. Moves the cord. Move around the net. And it comes up with a huge save for Georgiev. Cover right toward the wing. Pass is broken up, and now Gordy will take it over. Rantanen back over to Naito. Dish across again to Biogram. Now Rantanen will have the puck in the bounding. In a zone, with a rebound. Verna saw it, and it's stopped again by the defensive player. It was not on the goalie because he wasn't able to do it quickly right away. He really got him all bounding. Can't be finding out what he's going to do. Rantanen lost the puck and it's rinsed done. Got a great defensive settling. Schwartz on the left wing. And the pack is lost. And it's now Robin Goose taking over to Byram. Back to Nido. McCann lost the puck. Larson tries again. Leads it over to the left wing. Will be tricky. And a rebounding stop by Georgiev. Got a great handle of that one for Georgiev. Keep it alive out there because it's never going to happen like that. Teams are ready to take the faceoffs in the offensive zone. The score is tied, looking for a lead in the first period. Robbie Hughes right over to their left wing. Now in the right wing. Gives around the puck. We are down to a minute to play in the first period. It's still tied up. Now Everly. Pulls it back, now finds Veneers. But here's all slammed it down by the avalanche breakdown. Wolves around the net. Everly right toward the airway into the offense zone. Now finds Osayek again to Beniers. Beniers on his way down to the right wing. Clogged up. McCarr goes down. A lot of battle battle movement for the monster and the avalanche snow. 
and that will end the first period. The tie school run of two and two. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. We're about to start the second period in Seattle. And off to the races. Here we go. With the start of the second period, here's what Fan has to call for the recap in between of the Avs and the Kraken. The Avalanche got a great start of it. They were really that tough between the Pacific and the Central Division. Because they were very that focusing on the, on the skill shots, they were really are turning out to be that one top enough to be right in the target domain. He got a very good use of it for the skills. Because the Avalanche got two goals, now Seattle wants to go back for it again. And want to tie it up again, just like they did here for the last game. In between for the third, third and fourth game of the Bruins and Hurricanes. They didn't really turn out to be that hard. But don't be mindful, they really wanted to do it again. Larson passes to Dunn. Pass to McCann. Amberly trying to help the team to get back to back in the neutral faceoff. Nutrushkin back there away. Shot is gloved up by Jones. Jones is going to settle the gear with just only 18.43 to go. And fans, we can't forget about the Stanley Cup Finals. Your prediction there, folks. It's going to be a tough point in the Southeast Conference of the team of the Panthers. And the Pacific team in Vegas of the Knights. What is your prediction here, Van? Well, I'm going to have to like go with the in between the two because it looks like both teams don't have to win for the Stanley Cup and they never won a trophy. I never seen anybody that wins like that. So it looks like for over the decades, I think I think there's one way I'm going to have to go for that one here. I'm going to have to go with the with the Pampers because they never won the Stanley Cup Finals and this one has been too long for them. Maybe they should be doing this one here before the Knights take over. Maybe probably their 10th annual? Or shorter than that? Before their 10th annual? I don't know. There might be one way of that one. <laughs> well, I don't have to complain about that one here. You know what my take will be? What is your take going to be? My take is on Florida. You know what? I'm going to have to agree with that one here too. The wild card team is doing a lot much better than they have done here since last postseason since they've already been lost and now they want to go down to the wild card. It's their best place for the Florida Panthers to be on the wild spot. And the Vegas Golden Knights, they're very doing really well. Back in the finals again. They're on a doubtful run an option. Yeah, they're doing really well. I think keeping an eye on that one here can be a lot that challenging. But I think let's hope for the best one for Florida Panthers. Yep, say so too. Here's Nido. Gloved it up. Went down and then goes right with the stop. What a patching save made by Jones, and he will catch it and get ready for the faceoff. Miko Rantanen has a tape to tape feed, one of his zones in the ability to try to take over the offense side. He can try to find an open players in the deep passing zones. When he has that right bounding, he can try to take over it and then try to pass it alongside to the other player. He may have the right timing to do this, but keep your eyes open for the open man offense to go on on the flow. Runs it in for the long flow tape. Well, Sayek with the puck and now into the neutral offense zone. Now back to the Avs territory. Gets chopped up and Ranton will have the puck here. And Schwartz will take it one from here. And it's padded up again by Georgia. Quenberg in the run. Byram has it recovered after the flexion defenseman comes up early. Cogliano with the puck and now in the left wing. Fires across. Jones with the pass save. 15 minutes to go in the second period. And now it's Donato back the other way. Keeps the puck out of here. Eller, up and around again, and now finds over again to Osai. Now finding a puck over again, gets bumped up, and then called the other with the puck. Now reaches over. Puck near the blue line, Gerard will recover it. O'Connor does it again. Not this time, Jones says, because there is another pad save. Keeping an eye on that when you're trying, Jones is like, fun. he's like already like been taken over. And I knew it between the low. I never see when he was going to do it like that. Because of that one, they were really tough. McCann makes a win of a draw. Nutrushkin! Good look, but it's stopped again by Jones. Seattle has a possession, and now McCann and McKinnon. Around the net. 
Has to fire ramp shot stomped away. No penalty called on Colorado as only 13.30 stands by. Now Nachushki will have it over in the offense zone. The winner of this one will be moving on to the finals to take on against the Boston Bruins. Veneers looking for a settling with the puck now finds Everly. Everly right toward the left wing. In the slot. Pass to Schwartz. Wow, what a big stop. And it went up and over the netting and into the bleachers. The officials are getting set. You're ready to take the face off. If you have tickets, be sure to check it out with the first look. If you're in LA at the County in the Pacific, Tavian Media Center is the first stop to be. That will be on June 25th. And the live stream will be happening here also as well. The meeting of creators, the Q&A questions, and also the character actors. There are going to be a lot of much fun if you're always going to enjoy the first part of it. And next month, we'll stopping in by in New York City. Here for our creators to meet our new, new location here at the Gerald W. Lynch Theater. We have never seen a new theater before, and I think you'll definitely love it too. Son of Beast will be here too, so don't mind him if you want to see him sticking around at that time. Because of that, I don't even trust him. Well, I do, you know, honestly. Maybe he's ready for anything. He doesn't care about that much, but he always does reaction for as much. Kiki scores! Their team is in a lead by one. Whoa! Facing rebound! He never gets a goal like that! And that's why. You know, Ben Stone was giving it up to Kiki for himself. That's what the pass is going to be. He was tough enough, but Kiki hasn't recovered. It's a slump, and it's an in. Take him from me. That's Kiki rule for the Kraken. We want to show him up and be surprised if we've never seen it. That was a great rebounding. Passing the goaltender, got a goal. I'll keep an eye on him just around the corner. Guys, back to you. Maljay, backhand, it went down. And they're going to have to fight for it. Oh, boy. Wow. Maljane is already down and Toes is saying, hey, is that what you're going to start trying to like fool on me? He is like way that quick. Uh, don't tell him. Don't judge me. They're never going to leave him alone. And the fight's down. Larson and Kraken team showing their offense run. I can't believe it that they were doing this again. This is like a lot of a crucial hard run and smacking down. These two players are in the penalty box as right now Larson and Toes got a little aggressive out there. Yeah, I gotta replay this one. It looks like that Maljin went down. Well, unfortunately for now, he might have to recover from the, hot, from the medical emergency room. Might have to try to find something else out there. It is way that close and call. Kraken are really that tough, but they're never going to slow it down because they're really that uh, on a bet of run. Well, for honestly reasons, no low luck has been abounding, and we've got a medical call. So at that point, we'll see what Maljini has to say, if he will be feeling alright to get back into it. I'll be watching on him. Guys, back to you. Now Tobin will enter into the offense off hot zone. Poor with a move! What a diving save by Georgiev! He passed the midway mark of the period with under 10 minutes to go. Teams are ready to take the face off in the inbound. The score, Seattle, in the lead, 3 and 2. Face off win for Gordon. Oh man, that was a deflection right toward the glass. Confer's got it right across the Gerard. Makar over now to Nido. Nido on the run, looking for an open man. Dunn with the puck. Passes back to Borgin. Borgin moving around to Tovinen. Tovinen in the center, pass to Gord. 8.50 remaining. Hand it up! Jogan with the stop. With only 8.42 to go, it's a 3-2 lead for Kraken. Now it looks like they wanted to do game 7, and then if they want to do it is waiting to get into the finals. I'm hoping there's another round if they can try to keep it going. Now for the win, Veneers already been slammed out. Veneers trying to keep it out. Done. 
Move around the puck. McCann, fire it away. Stopped by Geogit. Schwartz. That's deflected off of McCann. The Avs now have their puck and Lequidin right into the offense zone in the wing. Try to go right to the middle. That's been traffic jamming. McKinnon to the slot. And it's Benitez taking the puck away. Here's another angle here. It's Benitez will have one. Pass to McCann. McKinnon right toward the offense zone. Pass to Gerard. Now looks to Lequidin. Pass to McCarr. Moves it quickly over to the Chishka. Now in a slot. McCarr shot. What a big save for Jones. He has been definitely on a domination run. I don't know if you can definitely just say that again, but you can definitely can't get away with him. Teams are ready to take their face off in his own. It's a 3-2 lead for Kraken. Back to the winning of the draw for Eller. Johnson to Cogliano and now finds O'Connor. The high. Move around the slot! What a save by Jones! So see over it again to Schwartz. And a waiting! Middle have been blocked up again, and that will be covered by Johnson. Kick the puck over again to Eller. Now Okano will try to get right into this one on the offense zone with six minutes to go in a second. O'Connor can't find anybody open. Orstron right toward the offensive zone and now picking up the run. Johnson out the buck away right now with 5.40 to go. Eller, 5.30 left to play in the first, second period. Looks like they're trying to get the score right bounding, but they still can't find it. And another save made. Whoa! Jones almost made that with a close call. Yeah, and an easy one's going to be on Martin Jones out there. Can't get away with him. All officials are getting set here, ready for the faceoff. As right now, these teams are very aggressive to do with the offense run. Now Comper wins the draw. Johnson on the outside. Looks to the middle. Well, Jones got a great stop. And will hold the puck with under five minutes remaining in the second period. It's very that tough, but no other look is going to happen like that. Because of this point, they're really up to it now. Frozen biscuits dropped, and we are underway to resume the play. Dunn has it across here now in the in the right wing of the zone and Donato right over it again to take over in the offside of his quarter. Donato plugged in the way. What a big stop. And we'll have an update from Algen to keep an eyes on. Alright there, thank you so much. And as I just talked about it before, Malgen was able to do it, but watch what happened here. Larson was getting right closer to the angle of this one, and here's what definitely did happen. When you zoom in right there, you can see that Larson and Maldron are in close contact to each other. They were rocked up. Boom. That's what happened. The stick was loose, and then this one was a bang on the chain. That one did happen already, and he was going to go right after him, because the other player, of toes, was coming right toward it. He looked at it right across his eye, and this is what definitely did happen over here. You see that he was right over into it. And as right now, Toes is waiting to sit patiently, and then what happened over here? He was right over here, and then he goes right after it, and he says, Come here, you. That's what's definitely what's going on. Because he knows he was going to try to like, take him down out of here, because that's a payback on Larson for knocking down Malkin. I'm not sure if what happens already, because it looks like Malkin is already hurt. He got bambled up a very clear hit. But hopefully on that occasion over here, he will be okay. Well, as there are no, report, no injury reports here, I think we'll have to keep an eye on that one here as soon as we happen. Back to you, Road, there, guys. Alrighty, thank you so much, you Road Jay. And we have currently no reports on that one here. The smoke alarm's off, and we're back on the go. Now, we're resuming the play, we have his Larson. And Toes will have the puck here over to Nido. He gives off to Makar. This is off again to Rantanen. Rantanen fighting along the board. From the right, we have his comfort. We have his, his comfort. Yep, I was correct. Larson has the puck here. Now Seattle will take the possession over there to Tolvanen. Kick the puck. Makar has the puck here. Now swings it off to Rantanen. Rantanen right toward the inside. Slot shot. Stopped by Jones. 
keep an eye on that one in your pajamas because you and Willie are tough on a trying to like keep it inbounding. The puck was is very clear. It wasn't going fast enough because of all that, it does happen. Colorado has their possession with the puck. We're under three minutes to go in a second. Gordy with the puck now finds Tobin in. Fires are on in it. Battling for the puck of a chain. In the corner, Stenato. Keeps it right for the Tolman and shot! Rebound scores! Well, I may have to replay that. I gotta look at it one more time. It looks like the call was saying he went in there. Yeah, he did. Told him, told him went in it, and he was knocking the goalie right over there. Yeah, I got a good call on that one here because Tolman was right in there in the crease. It. Because of the last game, as you may have already noticed here before, that the Hurricanes definitely didn't was going to challenge that call. But then a call was overturned, it was the Bruins' goal. But now this game, it is a no goal. So that being said, it is clean. Nichushkin goes down. Borgen passes the puck to Eberle. Trying to go around the uh, defender. Eberle recovers it, and Benir shot! Oh, Alexander Georgiev, what a big save. Everly back to Olsayek and now McCann. Shot goes from the pad, saved away. Carried it out. Lekkonen over now to McCann. McCann trying to scoot in. We're passing down a minute of period in a second. And Jones will have it covered up here with under a minute to go. Officials are getting set here on ice. It is now a 3 2 lead of Seattle over Colorado. The puck wins for Wember. Schwartz right to the left side of a wing. Keeping it on a slot. Johnson takes it over. O'Connor with the puck and now over to the other side of it, trying to keep the puck out of here. All right, and misfires the pass, and Borgen takes it over. Fast to Schwartz. Looking it over. Chopped away. All right, back to O'Connor. Goes right between his own. Horstein with the buzz meter. And did not have enough time. That will end the second period. A good goal to take the lead. It's 3-2. We'll be right back with the final period of the play. Stick around, folks. We are all set for the third period. And we are about to get started. And here we go. This is where it comes down to the final period for the crack in the tie of series. And this is what a fantastic game it has been, but not for a little, a little interruptions. But it turned out great. <laughs> yeah, definitely talk about that one, y'all. I know this was a very excellent game, as, as you all have seen in between the Avalanche and the Kraken. These are the top two teams that have really been doing it so far. And I have to say about this one here, me from. They've got a great, pretty good eye on the targets out there. With a lot of block shots, definitely put on a lot of rebounds, they can turn out there great. Obviously before, I knew they were happy enough to get it done. And hopefully they're going to get this one right back to it as soon as they can. Here's right now McCann with the shot, stopped again by Giorgiev. McCann battling for the loose puck. McCann right over to get the left with it. Diaz passed away right to McKinnon. Right around the move, the ankle breaking. Set up to come a failure as a, as a Jones saves the puck again. Schwartz back to the other side of the wing. Now moves in the middle, had it saved me. McCarr right dishing out to McKinnon. He's on a breakaway chain. Petrushkin coughed it up by Jones. He'll hold the puck with Jones as he's got it settled down for just under 17.30 to go. And right now, you're about to get the face-off ready. Pretty soon, for the next part of the game, we will be seeing the NBA Finals to start off here for the first game happening here on June 10th once again. So make sure to watch now on Sun and Peace. And then, before the NBA Finals here, we will see the next part of the game in Game 7. As you, If necessary, if it has been changed, then we will see then how well they do. That will be a part of it. If they tie it up, then they will head back to Colorado to face uh, one last time in Ball Arena at Mile High before the finals. Horse toward the slot, takes it away for the toes as he packs it up. 
Granted him back the other way. In a huge chain. Moves around again. Jones with a stop carry. 16-0-3 to go in the third period. They're trying to get it tied up and then get right in it. They really are trying to get it really well enough out there. I, I mean, they're definitely that hard enough to make a carry. But it may not be that tough enough at all. you got to get this one right away. If they don't do it, well, it's going to be a bad luck for them. Here on the other side right now, Donato. Moving around the order right now, going back is Ranton in with the puck stop. Gagliano right into the wing. In he is, offensive side, Eller shot! What a paddy up by Jones as he catches his up and then gets right back toward the portrait. Now here across to Gord. He scored right toward in the middle slot. What the firing canyon! That is tipped away off the goaltender. The Kraken regained the group. Tobin and shot! Went up the head and it's blocked up by the defender. Catching the puck is Cogliano. He has the puck now. Give it off again. To shoot it away! Another bad save here by the goaltender. Seattle Kraken still up ahead. Chelsea got a little bumbled up. Cogliano in it! Oh, Jones just got it in timing. Did not get the tie game up. Wow, he's really that impressed. I think that Martin Jones could be the next player to try to handle them down. Face off ready to go, and now it will be Seattle taking their zone at the puck. Tunev, right toward the right wing of the slot, entering the left wing. Gerard's got the puck, now into the offense zone. Facing in the attacking zone of Logan O'Connor. Run two on one, that is off again. Set it right to the corner of the wall, and now it recovers it by, by Sousey. Tunev over to Geeky. Spins across. No ice, no offside's been called on, on Seattle as Sprunch went down. Here's by Ram. Lever towards the offensive side, picking up the run. Looks it over. Taking the puck away, it's done. Then passes to Tenev. Tenev on his way down, rolling around the net. Hunt, battling for the loose puck of a chain. McCann! And their team has already been offside as the puck leaves the zone. Gonna need to make some equipment adjustment here. They really gotta get this thing over it and done. Hitchushkin! Oh, the Jones got it right in timing before the puck was loose, before he took the chopper and tie it up. But that could have been a tough out call if they would get a goal. Well, sadly now, you can't help it anyway, because they're very that tough and offensive to get it out of here. McKinnon uses his ankle breaking move. Jones got a good save here. Now with only 11 minutes to go, it's a 3-2 lead for Seattle. All officials are getting set here, ready to take another face-off puck drop in a Seattle Kraken territory. McKinnon wins the draw. And he scores! What a deflection from McKinnon! Their team is back and tied again. If that deflection in there from McKinnon, he would have had that one right away. Now that the player to the offside here, that Johnson gave it off to McKinnon and he gave a deflection in. That just tripped him up the goaltender. That was a great hustling and mounting. We better do this one a lot that harder. And this is what we do here, Nathan. Because we've got a great deflection to try to blind the goalie. That way, he'll never know where the puck is coming at. That's a great stop, and they're all tied up now with three and three. Now here's Johnson. Gives it off to McKinnon. Past the midway mark of the period. Tied it up. Held away by the goaltender. Larson swings it back to Schwartz. Moves it around on the inside. Nechushkin up again. Toward the wall. Trying to move around there quickly. Bumps it up on the corner. As now Nechushkin's down. Dunn has it back. To Borstrong. Borstrong gets closed up on the gap. Deep it over to Comper. Comper getting a little bit of crush down here. Now Seattle will have their possession taken over. Gore 
forward, snap the puck here right into the left wing. Give up to Tolvanen! What a stopping save made by Alexander Georgiev! These guys are very hustling and bounding. I never saw what's going on like that. They're very uh, top heavy goaltenders. They've really done a great player, player they have. Well, as of right now, it looks like that Malkin is not returning to the game. Unfortunately, he's out. All right, thank you so much, Jimmy, there, fan. Now with the win, here's Toes. Block the pass by Asayat. Donato right into the left wing, trying again from the top. Bumps him over. Toes gives it back to McCarr. Over now again. Swinging from the left. Morgan got the puck in poke. Nearing over to Tobinen. Tape the tape on the line for Gordy. And now Donato! Georgie save! 7 10 to go in the third period. It's still tied up. A lot of teams are having a lot of hydration going on, trying to keep the energy flowing, as there's lots of plenty of time left to, play, to go in the period. They still need to get this thing done. Here's McCarr back to Naito. Naito lost the puck and it's been years with the veneers with the rejection taken over. Pass it over to Borgen. In over and one on one. That stayed out of the zone as Toast takes over to McCarr. Now over to Rantanen. Rantanen on his way down. Poked it up and Borgen takes it over to McCann. Oh, a little bumbled up already. Veneers with one. To shoot the lead. Not in time. That went right near the inside of the net. And it stayed out of the zone. Comfort keeping the puck alive. Back to Byron. And Osayek has the puck here. And no man opener has been given. Well, they're blocked right now because Seattle Kraken's got a good defense to try to stay out. They really got to get this thing over and out. We cover the puck is O'Connor. Under five minutes to go in the third period, still tied up. The next one could be a goal for a lead to take in game six. O'Connor has one. Moving the middle. Hagliano fires it. That stayed out of here and it's another man traffic jamming. Looking over for Strong. And another pack save babe comes up for Alexander Giorgia. Pagliano right toward the left. Moving in for the zone. O'Connor shot. That's blocked up again by Borgia. Borgia now heading their way to Schwartz. Schwartz down in the hustle. The inbounding for Eller takes it over. 3 3 left in the third. Good poke check there by the defender. Schwartz will recover it and now back to the Avs territory. The Avs will take their puck away for the chain as now Eller will have a puck handling right over to Lequinen. Lequinen right into the slot. Way too far and up right toward the glass. He didn't really stay an up and mounting here. He should have gotten it right, right near the goal for the crossbar. Jones put it up a save with only 232 to go in the third. Just still a lot of minute, plenty of minutes in here before the end of regulation. And we do have a winner. Who do you have, my friend? I gotta say, Kel McCarr, I am choosing him to make that one the best solution to have that one all in emotion. He tackled, what a great run. He scores! Oh man, the true skin! Nothing dead failed to be down, and now they're in the lead. It's a great run for McKinnon. He got a great pass out of him. Nachushkin got the good team to take the lead up by one. That was amazing. You Schultz. Schultz right over to get into Sousi. Sousi over now to Donato. Gordy. Fires. Out of the way here by Alexander Georgiev. Nachushkin looking it over from the offensive side. Passes over to McKinnon. McKinnon ruling around. Try to take one here. Susie has it over to Tobinen. And stopped again. Lequinen. In the slot. Sultz takes it over. Now finds Donato. Donato trying to help the team out to get back in the game. Oh, Donato had to punch them out. 
That's going to be a lot of hard contact if he doesn't show up. We are under a minute to go in the third period, looking for a stop run. Good pass by the goaltender. Comfora! Jones with the save. Gore back to Tobinen. Tobinen and Bumble down, and we do have a man advantage here. And McCarr will have to give it up from here to Nido. Nido, Rantanen, and the penalty's been signaled on the slash call. And the run is over. Oh no, looks like the wildcard team is done. I have no words to say, but he went all the way down to the Western Conference Finals. It was a great season for them, but now it's been the end for them. A disappointing effort, and now they will have to get an empty netter without releasing it, and now they're on to a power play run. New look has to be covered here, and McCarr will have it down. Browning is up! Jones will have to try to handle it up at the save with under 30 seconds in the third. So that means it will be the Avalanche and the Bruins in a Stanley Cup Finals. They'll have it face it on from here. Yeah, that's right, because they were really looking it over. They want to get it done and do the best one as they can. Here's Wenberg. He will fire it around the net. McKinnon's got the puck, and now Robbie Goose over and under. In the slot. Robbie Goose. Good puck away. Moving around inside, Larson. Trying to give up to Osayek, man advantage, and no luck for the goal. That is it. Colorado wins the series. On now to the finals to take on against the Bruins. Well, great game this is, and for Alexander Giorgio, he made a comeback. What a run. And that's it to do, folks. What an amazing night. This is me fun, along with Fan and Light Brain of the presentation of the Western Conference Finals. Thanks for joining with us, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Now time for OJ for the three star players of the game. See you next time, folks. All right, me phone, that's right now. Avalanche, moving on to the second time in the postseason of the NHL EA Sports. Time for three star players. The third star, we're going to start up with Alexander Georgia. 44 saves, 0.936 percentage of his saving ability. Do now great. And the second star goes to Nathan McKinnon with a goal assisted to it. A deflection went in the net. Got a great run to take a tie and then the lead puts up for the juice game. And then right now for the first star, you name it. Valeri Nachuskin's the name that got a goal and took their team up by one. That was how they did. Keep it right to the middle of the range and end it all. Here's what I did with the total statistics of the Western Conference Finals of Game 6. 47 to 46 of Seattle's total shots on goal. 19 and 14 was the hits for Seattle over Colorado. 604 and 538 for Colorado on a timeout attack. 91% of the check of passing over Colorado, 88. 22 to 21 faceoff wins. Good to keep your eyes up there for anything. Seven minutes for Seattle and five minute penalty for Colorado with a fighting, and in the two minutes slashing at the end of a third. No power play goals and no time was 34 seconds, the end of the third period. So with that being said, the Western Conference Finals is finished. Now we are in the Stanley Cup Finals, and you'll have to stay tuned for the next part to finish it all in the season finale of the postseason. Thanks for tuning with us and have a wonderful day. Peace out folks for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports Style. This is OJ thanking you for watching and see you next time. OJ out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.